Hi there. We're going to have a look at the G chord today. So this one uh, has a pretty big stretch in it. So we've got to start off on the third fret on our high E string down the bottom of the guitar. Now you use your third finger there and we want to stretch all the way up to the top with our second finger. Now you can probably reach that as it is, but I'm going to say push your elbow forward and you can see my whole fingers and wrist rotating around there so that you can get around to the top of that uh, of the neck there. Now then we want to tuck your first finger in just behind. So this is the first version I'm going to show you. So this is pretty standard G chord. Okay. Now, beautiful thing with G, it's big and bold, it's G major, just big strums. Okay, now this note here, that's our third note, so you've got to make sure that's clear, and then you'll have a lot of your notes repeat in the G chord, so there's your first, third, and fifth. So our first being the G, second note here is a B, and then we've got a D for our fifth note. Then when we get down to the bottom three strings, you get your G again, okay, your B, and then G. So there's actually three G notes playing, so it's a really very full on. Now, the reason why this is important, you've got two of those third notes. So this chord, a particular way of playing G, has a certain flavor to it. It's very major. That third note makes the major. So you've got your uh, strum there. Now, if I change it up, now we're gonna use our little finger on this, on that bottom string and our third finger just above it. And you'll find they actually work quite well if you're just moving them together. So we'll use those on the bottom two strings there on that third fret. Reach your second finger right up and then your first finger tucked in behind. So I, I just like to call this a harmonic G. Um, it's got an extra D in it. So that changes it. That's the fifth note now that's being repeated. So it's got a different flavor to it. You can hear the difference between that and this version. Okay. Now, after a little bit of practice, you'll probably find it, it's not that much harder to throw in that extra finger. So, give it a go. Now, we might as well slip in a nice little bit in this lesson, uh, a little progression that I absolutely love with this chord. So we're going to, just on that top string, G, go back onto the second fret, and then an open. Okay, so. Now. hit that open, that leads us into an E. Now we've done the E minor chord, so I'll tie this one in there, leaving those fingers down the bottom. We actually get, um, call it a harmonic E minor. And these two chords are relative. So you've got your G major and your E minor. That's your relative minor and major. So sounds great together. that little progression we'll just run it back up ascending so
Okay. Now, another couple of tricks with the G chord, because you've got that full range of all your strings, you can mix between your bass and your treble on your guitar, so the top strings and the bottom strings. So, uh, okay, you can get that twang going on. Maybe you can change it to the other chord. Totally different sound on that twang. Okay, so you can start to really tweak a chord to get the tones that you want coming out. Uh, do you want it to sound really major, really happy, really bright? Stick with the three finger chord. Really touch that twang. And if you want it to be a bit more um, just steady, clean, switch to the four finger version and Okay. Have a muck around. It's great fun. We'll see you next time.